Just like the dashboard, you can completely customize the post creation panel or any of the panels in the administration area. You can minimize, click and drag the meta boxes to new locations, or use the screen options tab to temporarily hide boxes that you rarely use. This allows you to completely customize the panel with just the functions that work best for you. Now, if you've ever used a text editor like Microsoft Word, then you'll be right at home with the post editor in WordPress. The buttons across the top of the edit pane allow you to simply format text by highlighting a word or phrase, then clicking the bold, italic, or strike through buttons to apply the formatting to the selected text. You can also easily insert bulleted or numbered lists by clicking the button for the type of list you wish to create and then adding list items one at a time, hitting the return key to create each new list item. You can highlight and draw attention to special items like quotes by using the block quote button, or insert a horizontal line to break up large sections of text. And of course, you can align text to the left, center, or right. Creating links is as easy as highlighting a word or phrase and then clicking the Insert Link button. Enter the URL where you want users to be taken when they click this link. A title, which will provide a pop-up description when a user hovers their mouse over the link. And then choose whether you want this link to open in a new window or tab. Now, you can use this method to create a link to any website. But you can also easily link to existing content on your own site by simply choosing a page or post from the list at the bottom of the window. When you're finished, click Add Link and this text will now function as a link. To remove the link, highlight or click anywhere within the link anchor text and then click the Unlink button. If you're creating a lengthy article, you might want to display just the first paragraph or two on your main blog page, with a link that folks can click to continue reading the remainder of the article on its own page. Just click your mouse where you'd like the excerpt to end, and then click the More button. Any content below this divider will not appear on the front page of your blog, but it will appear when folks click through to the full view of that article. If you prefer writing in a distraction-free environment, you'll love the full screen mode. You'll still have access to all the basic formatting tools, but when your mouse is stationary, everything else just disappears, allowing you to really focus on your content. When you're finished, simply move your mouse to the top of the page and exit full screen mode. Clicking the toolbar toggle button reveals a second row of additional formatting buttons including paragraph and heading styles, as well as underline, force justified text, and text colors. Now, here's an important function to remember. If you're copying and pasting content from another program, like Microsoft Word, for example, enable the new Paste as Text mode, which will automatically detect the format of your text and then clean it before inserting it into the editor. This just ensures that any content you paste into your document will be formatted properly using standard HTML, rather than some other proprietary format that might not render properly in a standard web browser. You can also remove formatting from selected text, insert custom symbols or characters, indent or outdent text, and most importantly, undo and redo your most recent edits. And last, you'll want to check out the list of keyboard shortcuts you can use to speed up your editing. In the top right-hand corner of the edit window, there are two tabs labeled Visual and Text. The Visual mode is the rich text, or preview, format in which we've been working. But if we select the Text mode, then we enter the Code Editor. And we can see that WordPress has been automatically inserting HTML code called tags to apply styles to our text in a format that's understood by web browsers. Switching to text mode replaces the editor buttons with quick tags, 
The easiest way to format text in this mode is to highlight a word or phrase and then click the button representing the formatting you'd like to apply. Notice that WordPress automatically wraps your content with the appropriate opening and closing HTML tags. Everything inside these tags will have that particular style applied to it. You can toggle back to the visual mode at any time. Now, the post editor is also used when creating or editing pages. So once you've familiarized yourself with the buttons and options in the editor toolbar, you'll be ready to create and manage your content anywhere in WordPress.